Good morning and welcome to Blue Garden Cottage. A day late this week again. It seems to be a pattern, but it's not a good one because never mind. Just happy to be with you. Ah, listen to those birds. Ignore the traffic in the background. Come on, buttons. Let's go indoors. Come on, old girl. Oh. All right. Ignore and excuse the messy bits. Hang on, let's get some light on here. All right, so I am going to put you, I'm going to perch you up. Oh, no can't do that anyway I've had my rooibos tea brewing while I was outside ready for this morning's chat oh that's not enough water let's have a bit more water in there yeah a few little bits and bobs yet to do this morning before <clears throat> The day gets started properly. Oh, sorry. Most people use Earl Grey of any tea. This is Roy Ball, so it's a horrible one. As um, to help sleep, because it's supposed to help promote good sleep. But I find it helps me to wake up in the morning to not because of any caffeine, just because it's warm and it's comforting and yeah, I just and it's it's nostalgia, isn't it? Because I've told you before I grew up with Roy Boss. Oh anyway, so just a few of my seeds here waiting to go out the back. That's the homegrown butternut squash, some homegrown hollyhock, and another experiment for this year. We'll see how we get on with that. But this week is my writing. Oh, that lights out. Let's not waste energy. Hang on a second. Let's get ready for today, shall we? Oh, isn't that glorious? This morning, I actually had a line in until... What was it? Half five. Yes, half past five in the morning is a lion for me. Because I've been getting up at three o'clock in the morning to do writing. I get up at three o'clock in the morning and I have a bottle of water by me, my cup of rooibos, <clears throat> and I'm set up for the day to start work by half past three. Oh, there you go. And this is my view while I'm writing for now until I get my son's bedroom completely sorted out when he moves out and turn that into another workspace and spare room for the grandchildren. <sighs> so yeah, let me perch you on yeah. Oh, I can't mid. That's a silly mid filming. I can't change from back to front view. Hang on. Let me see if I can sort this. Let's see if this is right now. Let's have you behind. So that you can see what I'm doing. Oh, I tell you what, struggling with technology and trying to do things in an affordable way, shall we say. Okay, anyway, so I have been for months now 
getting down to the nitty-gritty of finishing the publishing of my book, my, my own manuscript, and creating new um, journals and diaries, logbooks, and so forth. So I haven't actually created any new um, low-content books in the last two weeks because I've been working on my own manuscript. But the last, the second from last one of them is uh, this Easter Thoughts one. And I intended to um, put markers in where all the pictures were in the book. Just little, you know, the, the Easter Thoughts, my Easter Thoughts one, just for the Easter holidays. But you can use it anytime you like with little images in there. There's loads of pages. Well, I think it's Good Morning New World. <laughs> Because, of course, Easter being bringing on a new, a new um, start to the year, just like New Year's. Because it's in spring. Well, ours is anyway in the Northern Hemisphere. So spring cleaning references, blossoms. More lovely Easter tea images I can draw in there. So yeah, I still, I have actually been, I have created, as I said in the last video, I think it was, I said I've created the new um, YouTube channel for the books only so that I get to make a new video, a short video about each book as soon as it comes out. <clears throat> as soon as it's... Um, ready but um i haven't had a chance i've just been so busy because and i know you think it's weird that nobody has enough time for that but for me getting up at three o'clock in the morning i write until at least six and then i get breakfast get sorted for the day housework wise and then I've been this week getting stuck into the garden and I spent a whole day in the front cleaning and tidying and um, transplanting plants that I intended to transplant last year already. And then Tuesday and Wednesday spent the whole day in the back garden doing quite a lot of jobs there. Not number of jobs, but intensive jobs as, as in trimming the hedge the conifer hedge and hacking away a huge chunk of it so that we could get behind the apple tree because those conifers grow out sideways once they've been topped and it's taken over the whole path behind what I had between the apple tree and the, and the hedge so I hacked away at that and I'll put in a garden feature there but I'll show you more of that next week in next week's video but yeah we've cleaned out the, the orchard beds excuse me, cleaned out the orchard beds, um, transplanted more plants, tidied up, created new beds, filled the beds more, and and I've noticed some damage on one of the apple trees I might have to get rid of, but more on that next week. Anyway, for now, back to, back to this. I have gone through so many YouTube channels on how to format my book. Because obviously, if I had money, I would outsource it to the professionals to do that. Because I am obviously self-publishing. Um, but it's still work. It still needs to be professional. It still needs to reflect industry standard for publishing. So I am... But it just means that self-publishing, I'm in charge of absolutely everything. Every aspect of it. The writing, the formatting, the getting it. Uh, get in the printing companies, get in the marketing and selling, um, so, well, the marketing at least anyway, and, um, and footing the costs for some of the stuff I might need, like if I want to use specific images or uh, software, I'd have to pay for some of them. And of course, if I want to do a far more professional job, I would have to outsource my image creation, the cover creation, the formatting, things like that, and even editing. But because I do everything on 
an extreme budget because I have no um, budget. That means I have to do it all myself. So that means it takes longer because I have to learn as I'm going. And I have found loads of so much help um, going on YouTube. No, it's not a sponsored video. I'm just recognizing and acknowledging that whatever I learn and do, I'm learning from other people and they're so valuable. So <clears throat> the, the most helpful in-depth um, help I have found is from Bethany Atazadi, um, I think it's pronounced. It's Bethany Atazadi, I think. And she is an author, self-published author, does a lot of um, courses, free courses type stuff on writing. And I have found her playlist for formatting a novel from scratch. Now, even though I'm not writing a novel, the formatting and uh, she goes through the differences of different how to find different um <clears throat> formats for different genres but she's very specific and gives it's it is literally a course that she does and loads of things to do with writing and publishing so she has been absolutely helpful no let's get past the ads it's all, all right it's really really very helpful so I'm going through, I have found that instead of watching videos to learn how to do things, and I have a notebook that I write down specific things I need to remember, especially when it comes to the KDP information and other self-publishing companies online as well as um, paperback, um, that I write down specific information in my notebook right next to me. <coughs> And when I get to specific videos while I'm doing something at the same time, <coughs> I have my Word, Microsoft Word, um, ready so that I am formatting and editing at the same time. So obviously that takes a bit longer. Um, and it is really helpful. It tells me there how many words. And as I get later on, if I put in page that I think no it's not I can't remember which one it is but it also tells me how many pages I've got um, and a few other bits of in information there I have still got a load to do so while I'm doing this at the same time I've got the video running then Chatel gives instruction I pause it and then I go back to my book and I start implementing some of the things that she has been instructing and I go as I go. So I still have a load of um, things to do, like the images I want to put in and the, the, the lovely the headers and footers and the lovely imagery around new chapters or sections. Um, so yeah, it's very, and then I've got to do all the front and back matter, which is apparently the, the bits before that are not included in your book, but are at the front of the book and the back of the book not part of the manus part of the, the body of the book so yeah i still have quite a lot to do the book is real it is being done and i think i'm on no i'm not this is i'm past this bit where have i got to <clears throat> yep that's where i am this is the bit I'm, i've got as far as here this is in chapter six section six so I'm in there. Let's see that this book as the one that I read to you. I read the introduction to you a couple of years ago before I think it was 2018. It's been sitting there waiting to be done since then. Can you believe it? <coughs> Excuse me. You are yet again getting an unedited warts and all video. It's just easier that way. But um, I'll put a link in the top corner of the video for you to see that video. But the introduction has changed since then. 
everything has changed. There's, I've had to rewrite sections just to try and make it less time specific or topic specific as far as diverting and keep it to the foundations that have been set in my life to to bring us to where we are right now with Blue Garden Cottage and the memories from childhood to adulthood and the influences of the people in my life why what have you know that brings me to the why for what I do the why is one of the most important things of whatever you do um, it's your story your reason and it's it needs to be a very powerful one that moves you forward and the fact that we've finally got to a turning point and it's moving forward from there and and I've put in some of my plotting tools my the escape plan as far as self-reliance goes um, so that is all in there and as soon as it's more ready I will give you a visual again when it's got all its imagery in place and all the it's ready to publish then I'll give you a quick scroll through and um, just just like that to show you and I might do a reading for you and then it will go straight to publishing. And I don't know how long that process will take, but, you know, it'll, uh, hopefully, it's definitely going to be done by the summer, that's for sure. Hopefully before that. I was hoping to have it done by Easter, so let's hope I can still do that. But, um, <coughs> <coughs> pardon me, Bethany has been amazing being as specific as she has with all the information she gives and she acknowledges that she's only going on her own experience which is exactly what I do I can't go by anything else because I'm still learning and I'm really grateful for the people who share what they know to help those who don't know move on and fulfill their dreams and I've always wanted to be a writer for very many years and I'm finally getting to a point where I'm getting, I'm, I am a writer. I am, I have written, I've created some low content books. I'm busy uh, creating my own manuscripts as well. And I'm well on the way to making that part of my self-reliance journey. So, I don't know if you can see me at all. I hope so, because the camera's not on selfie mode. I can't do it with this phone. I can't flip the camera mid-video. It's ridiculous. But I hope you can see me. Anyway, so that is what I'm doing so far with the writing. Um, so it will be ready within the month. And I will share with you in the next video what I have done and what I am doing as far as getting it published. It's a slow process when you don't know what you're doing. But I have to look like I know what I'm doing. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> so, oh dear, hang on. Let me turn you around. That's a nice view there. And you can't really see the, oops, there you go. Oh, that means that what you've just seen has probably been all blurry. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to go through this. Let's see if it's worked. If not, let's start from scratch again. Okay, folks, looking at my window, it's promising to be a glorious day. It's hazy, we're forecast to have beautiful sunshine. So I hope that you have a lovely day, whatever season you're heading into, depending on where you are on the globe. And that it brings some positive moving forward for you. Have a good week until next week, which is a garden week. And I have, obviously I'm going to share with you what we have been doing. Have a lovely week.
Take care, folks. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.